She deserves a hero's farewell. If that's the only way to convey to the audience the courage and selflessness that she showed in the face of death, then it's a meaningful way to end the story. Even in the last moments of her life, she was still leaving a trail for others to follow. She did her best to protect as many people as possible, even if it meant sacrificing herself. We know what choice our little Oceanid would have made now. I don't think any more discussion is necessary. <sighs> well, Philmont, if we put the past aside for now, do you think you can bring yourself to go ahead with the show? I will channel all my regret and put it into my performance to make this a show worthy of our director. I won't ask for your forgiveness, and you don't need to worry about my feelings. This final farewell show should be about Director Aureli and her alone. <sighs> then it seems like we've reached a consensus. I have a feeling that this will turn out to be the most mesmerizing performance of your lives. Really? How can you be so sure when you've never even seen them perform before? <laughs> Don't underestimate my experience. <laughs> After watching a countless number of musicals, I've learned one important thing. If you want to move the audience with your music, you must fully commit and immerse yourself in your role, pouring all your emotion into your performance. And aren't human emotions, love, hate, regret, and hope, just the most mesmerizing things in this world. I don't believe anybody could be more committed to bringing this story to life on the stage than they are now. Thank you for the vote of confidence, Miss Farina. And thank you for supporting us through all this. Then, let's not delay things any longer. We need to discuss the details of the ending and get it nailed down once and for all. Actually, before that, I'd like to make a proposal. During the curtain call, please allow me to use the director's name instead of my own. Huh? But then... After all, this role was originally meant to be played by the director. I'm just filling in for her. Besides, a role commemorating her life should be associated with her name. Well, if you're sure you're okay with that, I have no objection to it. <laughs> now we're talking like a serious acting troupe. All right, I'll leave you to fine-tune your musical while I go and procure a stage. Procure a stage? Oh, it's okay. Our usual place doesn't need a reservation. That place? Oh, don't be silly. For an extraordinary show, we need an extraordinary stage. By which I, of course, mean the Opera Epiclès. Whoa, wait, what? No, 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 that's never going to work. It's far too fancy for the likes of us. What are you afraid of? Surely you don't think that O'Reilly's story is unworthy of the grandest stage in Fontaine. <laughs> no, th that's not what I meant. It is supposed to be your grand finale, right? I have no problem with it, then. How about the rest of you? I'll take your silence as a yes! <laughs> Thank you for giving us this opportunity. It really is a dream come true. Well, then don't disappoint me. If you mess this up, it'll reflect poorly on me, too. <laughs> Come on, we'll need to get the go-ahead from Nervilette. I know just where to find him.